I'm a hundred and two and seven months. And what do you do all day? Do nothing. Just look at me hands and eat. <laughs> That's all. I can't do anything. I used to be able to play patience, but I can't see the cards now. George, do you get the pension? Well, then we get a full pension, not quite. Close to it. How much is that? Oh, I get uh, three bob a fortnight. So that comes to how much? Uh, nine pound, uh, nine pound seven. Nine pound seven, that means just over four pounds ten a week. Yeah. yeah. And how do you manage to live on that? How much do you pay for rent? Sixteen, sixteen bob a week rent. And uh, the cost of living, uh, well, it'll take the rest of the pension. Mr. Stanley, how long have you been living in this one room? Twenty years. You're a jockey, and you told me, and your father was a jockey yes. before you. Yes. Now, after that kind of outdoor life, how does it feel to live in one room? Well, then it's when you buy yourself, you, you, you'd sooner have one room because if you've got a house, you've got to keep it clean, haven't you? You've only got your room to do. What's the hardest thing about living all by yourself like this? Oh, getting your meals. What do you do about your meals? Well, uh, the meals on wheels, they deliver me a, a dinner every day, and in the morning I'll get me own. Do you have any meals out at any of these hostels or places Not like that? No, Not for a month now. You cook all your own? Yes, all my own. What would you have for lunch today, for instance, when you go uh, home? I haven't decided yet exactly. I buy tin food, you know, now and again. I lost my husband about 30 years ago. He was 75 when he died. And he just dropped dead. Dreadful. How old are you, yourself? 82. And what do you think of life nowadays? Wonderful. And I think the generation coming up there really wonderful too. Different to when I was a girl. And I seem to have more enjoyment. And There's a bit of enjoyment going on next door. What's, what's all that singing in there? Oh, it's a sort of musical. We have a very good time here. Have you had a good life? No, not much. I had too many children to look after. I had eight children. What about this library here? Are you going to have something to do with it, do you yes, tell me? Yes, I'm going to be... I don't want to be the librarian. I think I'm one of the old hands, but I'd like to be the assistant. What do you think of these modern forms of entertainment, like television? Wonderful. What about entertainments? Do you ever go out anywhere, go uh, to the pictures? Yes, uh, once in a blue moon. The last picture I saw was that one at the plaza. Very interesting picture, sent around the holiday. But I meet my friend here now and again, we have a... A uh, little tin rag over uh, <coughs> the past, you know. What sort of uh, amusements do you have? I read a lot. And then I uh, listen to serials, different uh, dramas, you know. Yes, I think there are a lot of wonderful things, especially the fashions nowadays. I think they're very sensible, different to when I was a girl. Do you have any friends that come and see you? No, I don't want them either. I don't, Why not? I don't know. I don't like people. I only have my own relatives I go out to see. Otherwise, I get no one. What about old people generally? Do you think they have a very difficult time now? Well, the cost of living, I think they do, especially the food question. But I think uh, people are beginning to, to uh, do more for them than, than I did a few years ago. I know uh, I've had a lot done for me in this club. Would you like to go on living to be, say, 110? No, indeed, I'd like to have died long ago. But it's not to be. I've got a very good doctor. Don't you get lonely? Wouldn't you like people to come and talk to you? Oh, yes. I talk to the girls when they bring the uh, meal, you know. And anyone would like to come along. I I'd be very pleased to talk to them. Well, I'll let you get on with your selection of a book, then. Yes, I'm, I wasn't prepared for this honour. <laughs> Never mind, you get on and find something to read. 